Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to break down how to create this really cool warped fish lens effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. So I'm going to kind of just break it down and go over how to create this effect. One thing I want to go over first is just in case you're wondering, this music track is from Epidemic Sound. So I'm going to go ahead and just break it down. As you can see here are three different layers. Now here is pretty much like the original clip or the main clip. So what you want to do is you want to have this clip, so your main clip, and then you want to go over to titles and generators. And under generators you want to go ahead and take the shape generator and you want to put it underneath the main clip. So this is a shapes from from the uh, generators tab in the titles and generators of so this thing right here you want to put that underneath the clip now the next thing you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel right here and you want to head over to mask and you want to apply an image mask onto this middle clip right here so you can see right here click on this middle clip and as you can see right here here is the image mask now you'll have a little like drop down menu right here all you gotta do is just click on it and then it'll ask you to select the clip and then you just want to select this clip right below it as you can see right here main source shapes so all you have to do is just click on the drop down thing and then click on the actual shape thing to actually put the shape put this uh, shape generator onto this clip now a couple things you're gonna want to do next is you're gonna want to turn off the outline so you want to turn off the outline and then you could turn off the fill or keep it on you want to turn off the fill if you want the circle to go smaller if you want this if you want the circle to grow smaller then you turn off the fill if you don't want this if you don't want to like decrease the size you want to actually just make the circle bigger don't worry you don't have to mess with this fill because if you make the circle smaller and you have this fill check you're gonna have this white um, circle outline so go ahead and check that off if you want to make the circle smaller but again if you want to make it bigger just keep it checked so this clip right here again is the main clip now as you can see right here this is where the image mask is now what you want to do is you want to add a focus and a prism blur to this effect however before you add that the blur effect what you want to do is you just want to hold option and you want to copy the clip up here so these two clips are copies of each other. Now this clip, like I said before, has a focus blur and a prism blur. The only reason you have a focus blur is to have that like RGB outline. Without the focus blur, as you can see right here, without the focus and prism blur, you will not have an RGB outline. So you wanna go over here, two blurs, focus blur, and then the prism blur. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click on this clip right here. Now as you can see right here, it has an image mask. So again, it's a copy of this clip right here. You need to have the image mask or else you can't create that really cool circle effect. Now it also has the fisheye effect. Now you want to make sure the fisheye effect is on top of the image mask. And you can go ahead and just mess um, with the radius. You can also mess with the amount, so how much you actually want the fisheye to look like. So you can just go ahead and mess with that until you get... Um, the desired look but all you want to do is just put the fisheye effect on top of the image mask and adjust the amount and adjust the radius these are just set, these are just the settings that I have for my clip because I think it looks um, the best you could obviously increase it and really over exaggerate the fisheye effect and that's pretty much how you create the effect now one thing you want to do next is you may ask yourself how do you get the fisheye to rotate now if you don't want the fisheye to rotate then obviously don't rotate it but if you want to rotate all you want to do is you want to click on the clip you want to head over to rotation you want to keyframe the rotations right here then you want to go to the end of the clip and you want to type in negative 360 degrees now don't just do that to this clip because if you just do it to the top clip the bottom clip isn't going to rotate too so let's click on the bottom clip and let's go over to rotation keyframe you want to make sure they're both start at zero so we keyframed it we went to the um, end right here in the second clip and then we also Put it, I also put it to negative 360 degrees. So both the top and the bottom clip start at zero and they're keyframed to negative 360 degrees. That way they both rotate. If you just rotate one of them, only if you just 
keyframe one of them one of them's not going to rotate so that's how you create this very simple and easy little fisheye or warped fisheye um, lens effect it's definitely a really cool interesting effect you can have it rotate you don't need to have the RGB um, outline you, you can kind of like do a whole bunch of different things to this effect but this is just one idea and I'll probably maybe change it in the future something like that but this is just my idea and this is the effect that I came up with and go ahead and put your own twist on it, your own creative inspiration your own creative twist on the effect to make it look how you want but hopefully you took some hopefully you took something away from this to help you create a really cool effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro Ted tutorials every single Single day. So if you enjoyed those types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.